Hey YouTube, how's it going? We're here, we're back with my hero, chapter 387. Real quick, if you could like the video for me, please, I'd greatly appreciate it. Ah, has it been a two week break? Has it been a two week break? Yes, it has been a two week break. Feels good to be back. Um, we ended last chapter, if I'm not mistaken, with Iron Man All Might. So I wonder if we're gonna pick right back up with um with this or we're we gonna go somewhere else. This whole um the Ida and and um Shoto thing was really cool too. But um Iron Man All Might. Boy oh boy. All for one charging in. Let's just, let's just hop in, right? Skip all the pleasantries. Let's just hop right down in. Full screen this bad boy. Let's zoom it in. Let's zoom it in. Let's zoom it in. 387. Himura blood runs thick. Okay. Congealing. 387. Long ago the Himura started as a village started as village leaders, excuse me. And even after the agricultural revolution. They maintain their wealth and pride by creating branch families. The ten. Cork Ice Ply. Paranormal. Yep. Isn't Geten and Am I making this up? But isn't Geten and Ray from the same family? Or similar or the same not from the same family. The same heritage. Confirmed, yes. Okay. All right, cool. But the advent of the exceptional only hastened their downfall. They didn't want to dilute their blood, you see. Mm. A snobbish bloodline prejudice against heteromorphs. Can you imagine what Spinner would say if he heard about such a combo? Oh, compress. Okay. Zooming in. Funny how both of their hands are bound. <laughs> This resulted in countless marriages between branch families, between distant relatives, essentially. Ah, hence your remark about thick blood. By insulating themselves like that, the Himura clan was doomed to shrink and wane, right? When the head family started selling off children into marriage, it essentially marked the end of their line. Their few remaining families and their members scattered, including myself. Which is when Redestro came upon me and brought me into the fold. With each generation, meta abilities grow more complex. How would that work? How would that work? In a we know that this camera is so terrible right now. We know that um like like you just said, as the generations continue on. Quirks get stronger, quirks mix, they do more. But if you were to mix the same quirk within itself, or not the same quirk, similar quirks within themselves consistently. So it's like, okay, this is weird, but let's say I have a fire quirk and then I marry someone from my own family who has a fire quirk. It's like the same quirk mixing together and then that kid has the quirk and then he marries someone from the same family with the same quirk. Like, what does that do? Like how, like how, like how crazy would that be? <laughs> same as inbreeding. Yeah. All right. Deeper and richer. Let me continue. Like layered sediment in a body with some powers lying dormant unbeknownst to the user. Yet people's hearts never manage to evolve. Are we saying that there's a chance Dobby could have some ice powers? Is that what we're saying? Deeper and richer like layered sediment in a body with some powers lying dormant unbeknownst to the user. Is that what we're saying? Because this looks like Dobby just on fire and burning. That looks like him. You saying there's a chance. Yet people's hearts never manage to evolve. 
I wonder what changes will witness come tomorrow. Okay, your turn. <laughs> Hear anything good from the cops or the heroes? Whatever you got, entertain me. We're just killing time until the battle ends. All right. About 800 meters from the Gunga Mountain Villain Ruins. Oh, Endeavor. Goodness gracious. An explosion, you say it. <laughs> look, at, look at him. It's not just the evacuation block that's in danger, but also Pixie Bob's group, which is fighting back against Toga's doubles. The frenzied flame. Damn it. Fighting all for one did a number on my legs. I'm not sure how much longer I can keep luring Toya away. And he's just trying to say that. Look at him. This man is just flying away from, from Dobby. That's crazy. He's screaming, Dad, watch me. What's happening to his arm? Is he? That's what's happening to his arm. Look what I figured out how to do. Wow, it looks like a fist. Isn't that the move that Endeavor just used whenever he lost his arm? When he made the fire, he made that fire fist. That's crazy. That's crazy. Endeavor never, I don't think Endeavor ever used that technique and um, like before he lost his arm. And he was running around as a little kid being like, I figured it out. That's crazy. Wow. Wow. Dude. His arm, like, it looked like it was going to blow up. Like how it just... Like, Dobby looks terrible. Oh, my goodness. Look at him. Look at him. Well, look at Endeavor. He grabbed him. Come on, Toya, put out those flames. He's just, he's all he's screaming. Yeah, he's not human anymore. He's just screaming, watch me. Look at him. I don't want to watch you die. He, he, oh, he's just scream. He's just screaming at like Natsu, let's play. He's just screaming stuff from his childhood. His mind's long gone. This fire is hot enough to burn even me. So how is it possible that he can still hold himself together? It's what it's what Giten was talking about, no? Where it was like he has powers that are dormant inside of him. Like it's not keeping him. It's not doing what what Shoto's does, right? Where he can just cool himself off. But is, does he have like an ice power that's deep within that's just allowing him to stay alive? Even if it's doing critical damage to him. Like it's still cold enough not to allow him to perish? I don't know. Toya, what is it about you? And we you know he had the X. Oh, his arm is... I didn't realize his arm was gone. Wow, I didn't realize his arm was gone. He lost the same arm that Endeavor did. No? Because Endeavor lost his right arm. And now Dobby doesn't have a right arm either. Yeah, it's Ray's quirk. Wow. That visceral sense of danger when facing death. Sometimes a near-death experience can trigger a quirk to awaken. On the other hand, people can also summon absurd power in a crisis when it's do or die. 
That's different than a quirk awakening. That power only manifests as the Reaper draws near. It's a cold line. <laughs> that power only manifests as the Reaper draws near. Ray's quirk. Ray's quirk is what's keeping him alive. Wow. Hold on, let me zoom in. I'll win today and keep my eyes on Toya. He did say that. What are we looking at? What are we all looking at? What is all this? We got... Is this Endeavor up at the top right? Is that Endeavor? Who are we looking at on the stretcher? I don't remember that. We're looking at Ray, Little Toya. I remember these panels. Little um Shoto. This is when like he was yelling at him to like not not continue. Oh my goodness, I'm seeing all this. when he was mad dark is his life flashing before his eyes i think some are from i'm i i i don't recognize the two at the top these two up here i don't recognize those two i feel like i recognize this ray one but not really but i feel like i recognize all of these panels that are in here that we've seen them at some point in time especially as we get lower these are all panels from the last 100 to 150 chapters is this his life flashing before his eyes he's looking up this is crazy yeah i do remember that because it was it was the endeavor one they showed a young all might one it was a young miracle one there was a, I remember it was the ED. They use all those pic, those pictures on the ED for, I think that season. I want to say it was that season. No, they used it. That was the season, season four, I want to say. Wow. I never thought I would see a panel like this. I take full responsibility. I swore to bear that burden and live my life atoning for it all. However, you've been watching me all this time. While I couldn't be there to watch you, you were someone I especially needed to do right by. It's always the same. I'm not looking over there. It's always the same dream. My whole family's there, but not me. No, I can't let you meet your end alone. Whoa. But I won't let anyone else get caught up in our tragedy. Is he going to take off into the sky? I can't cover enough ground quickly enough. So instead, we'll ride your fire straight into the sky, Toya. He grabbed him and he's going to fly up. This is really about to happen. I feel like this moment's about to get robbed. Why do I feel it? No, don't blow up yet. Just a bit longer. What? Yo, what? The more blood runs thick. What? We don't know. What's the extent of her powers? We don't even know the extent of her powers.
maybe she made it maybe she does what 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 shoto does his ice his ice powers she flew up there with like her ice thing made a nice tower Or he wouldn't he is he really about to kill all of them like this? Yeah, we, she hasn't trained that we know of. Wait, does this hold okay, I'm trying to think. Does this mean they're gonna die together? Or does this mean that they're gonna save him? I don't know how you save Dobby because he's I don't know how you save him because he's burnt to a crisp. Endeavor's face is coming off. Like this, look at the top left. Endeavor looks like he doesn't have a face anymore. <laughs> it doesn't, it looks like he doesn't have a face anymore. He's literally burning. And even Ray, like the left side of her face is starting to like burn. They're really, is he really about to kill? He's going to kill, he's going to kill both of them? He's going to leave these, he's going to leave them alone. So what are we going to, like, I feel, I don't know. Are they going to die? There's no way Ida doesn't get there in time, right? Because I feel there's, do we kill them in front of Shoto? Do they all die in front of Shoto? Does he watch his family fall to the ground as husks? If they don't all die, I don't. I, I feel like they're not going to die. I do. I feel like they're not going to die. Other, why else? Like, I don't know. I just, I feel like they're not going to die. I feel, I feel it in my gut. I feel like they're not going to die. You know how dark that is? This series goes dark, but it doesn't go that dark. To have Shoto just pull up and... Like, he's just going to watch his parents and his brother die? Like, that feels... It feels dark. It feels super dark. To just watch them fall to the sky as, like, burnt husks. I don't know. To lose Dobby and Endeavor at the same time with along with his mom and just have him watch. I I don't I don't think I don't think that they're gonna die. I'm saying it. I I'm saying this and I wanna be wrong. I want to be wrong. It has been. Endeavor dying with Toya makes sense. The mom showing up is what's throwing me off. So it's like right now you have Endeavor and Toya f like flying up to, into the sky. But then Ray shows up. We know that his siblings are underground. We do know that. We know that his siblings are underground. So there's no chance of them showing up. Because I'm like, what if the whole family just dies right here? That would be crazy. I don't think that's it. I think they're underground. But you have Ida f running over at full speed. Like what are like what are we gonna like what what's the play? What is the when Shoto gets here? Why? 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 What is he gonna do? What is he gonna see? I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. Just something is telling me that they're not going to die. Something's telling me Shoto's going to do something and it's going to free it's going to freeze it. Freeze them, freeze something, freeze them all. But it's just like I don't know how you undo 
like you can't undo Toya. You can't undo that. He's he is just he feels like he's burnt flesh. That's all he is right now. He's burnt flesh. Even Endeavor right now, he's burning up. Ray is burning. I don't know. I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say they're not gonna die. So if they don't die, I'm not upset. Because the last thing I want to do is be like, yeah, they're dead. And then in a chapter or two from now, they're alive. I don't want to be mad. I'm just trying to think. Ah. That's, I'm not, like, I feel like I have a valid, like, what is Shoto going to do? Show, like, that's a valid question. What is he going to do? Especially if we're, like, here. Like, we're at, we're here, where his parents are here. And he's, a, like, about to explode. Like what is Toy like what is Shoto gonna do? We're not gonna kill Shoto too. So it's like what's the point of Shoto showing up? He's not gonna be able to help with this. And if he helps, then that means they live. But if they were to die, we just want I that I I that's what I'm not wrapping my mind around. What's the point of Shoto coming here if he's just gonna just arrive to dead bodies? If if we if we get here now, like this is what I wanted from the end of Naruto. And it's not going to happen. That's why I don't know why I'm even about to say this. Do we kill Shoto? Do we kill all of them? Do we kill this whole family? Does this whole family die together? That seems outlandish. It seems outlandish. But it's like, I don't. If we're not saving them, then what are we doing? My brain can't comprehend just having Shoto stand there and watch his parents die. <laughs> watch his parents and his brother die. I just, like, my brain can't comprehend that. My brain also can't comprehend Ida throwing Shoto into the fireball that is his parents and his brother and him dying with them. I can't comprehend those two. So the next best thing is they save like they they all don't die. That's the only thing that I can wrap my mind around. They're not going to die. The Shoto just standing there watching his family die is crazy to me. It seems nuts. If Hori wants to go there, then yeah, but it seems crazy. I'm baffled. I'm genuinely like, I don't know what to think. I don't, I don't know what to think. I know. I know. I, I, I'm jaded. I'm jaded. I'm jaded. This was, I think, the last time we sat down. I think I said, I'm scared. <laughs> I genuinely am scared for the end of the series. Because I love my hero so much, I don't want it to be bad. Like, I don't want, I don't want it to be bad. I don't want a bunch of dumb things happening back to back. I just want it to end good. And ending good, honestly, is if her showing up is the three of them dying right here. They just die together. And it's just like, like not we wipe our hands and we move on, but we die, like they die. And then Shoto just has to figure out what to do with the rest of his life <laughs> like how does him and his how does his old him and his older siblings move on from the fact but like how do they move on from this
I, so I'm like, I, I'm like very nervous. I'm very nervous because I want it to be good. That's true. If they kill him off, this will let us know that Hori has it will. This will let us know that Hori has the green light to do what he wants. I th you're right. If next chapter comes and we still focus on this and they die or two chapters from now they die it's gonna be like whoa okay but it's like if i'm thinking narratively right if i'm thinking narratively when i think of the todoroki family the three most important people in that family is endeavor ray and toya they're the most important some might say shoto because of him having both the powers and everything spiraled up no it's these three they're the most important because endeavor gets most of the blame because he was the abusive one ray takes the blame because even though endeavor like they both made missteps when raising this boy they both made missteps like she never she waited until toya was how old before she said something to him finally how how the series like how the series tells it to us she didn't tell toya to be his own person until he was like 13 14 15 however old he was when he burned up like 14 years 13 years old before she finally said something to him he was like yo if you don't get out of my face you've been sitting here watching this this whole, like he that's what that's what kind of time he was on so it's just like even though like endeavor was flying off the wall and out of control and going crazy and she i i don't do i dare say she should have did something too i did but then it's just like, yeah, I think about culture and stuff and all this. And I don't know how, like, the dynamic between husband and wife and child and parent, how that stuff goes in Japan. I don't know how that stuff goes. Like, 100%, I don't know how it goes. But just, like, they bo they're both culpable in the reason why this kid came out this way. Endeavor, I would say Endeavor more so than her, but they're both responsible. So it's, like, the three of them to go out together leaving shoto natsu and fuyumi i get i guess i guess so i guess it makes it makes sense it makes sense Dude, i can't wrap my i can't this is i'm gonna be thinking about this all week i'm gonna be thinking about this all week long i am I am going to be thinking about this all week long. I I'm I have to stay off the internet. <laughs> Cause if next week because I'm pretty sure Ross come out on Tuesday. So that if next week they end up dying or something crazy happens, the, everyone's gonna freak out. Right? If 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 Shoto shows up and does like a massive blast of ice and tries to freeze everything and and saves them, everyone's gonna freak out right they are i gotta stay off the internet i have to or if they just burn up and die like everyone like either way people are gonna freak out i gotta stay off the internet i have to because i i this i am nervous <laughs> i am nervous i am nervous wow i am freaking nervous I am. Whoa. I am nervous. Because uh, I want it to be good. I am nervous, boy.
<laughs> Holy crap. I don't have any, I'm, I've, hold, let me look at this chapter was nothing but this. Right. And then the first half of this chapter was just talking about this whole chapter was focused on that. So there's not really anything else in the chapter to really look at. It all is focused on this. I think Dobby's dead though. No matter what, Dobby doesn't live. And I think Dobby doesn't live because of the statement on page 10. Yeah, there's no way he lives. There there's been no like there's been nothing seeded in this universe that brings someone back from the brink of this besides Aerie. Even if he does live, he can't be redeemed. I feel, I feel the same way. Feel the same way. He's not redeemable. Dobby is unredeemable. He's unredeemable. He doesn't want to be redeemed. That's the whole thing. He he doesn't even want to be redeemed. But the only thing that we know of that can reverse this dude from how he is is Aerie. And Aerie is not on this battlefield. If she is, that's just dumb. She's not on this battlefield. So there's no way. There's no way. Ah, all for one has a regeneration quirk. We do know that. But for, as, as far as we know, there's no way for him to come back from this. And this line right here where it's talking about Sometimes a near-death experience can trigger a quirk to awaken. On the other hand, people also can summon absurd power in a crisis when it's do or die. That's different than a quirk awakening. That power only manifests as the Reaper draws near. Yeah, so I feel like he's like he's dead. This is like this is a, an adrenaline thing, anyways. This is like whenever you hear the story or the example they use of a mother picks up a car because the car fell on her child. It's just like normally that woman wouldn't be able to move that car. But because her child is under there, like the body will like unlock. It would it would uh, release those limiters. She'll be destroyed, right? It'll do damage. But her body like it's like your body won't allow you to do things to like that will hurt you. Like that's why you can't like people if you're crazy enough, you can. That's why you can't like bite your tongue off like if you think about it, like i don't bite my tongue like you but if you do an accident yeah like so you can't bite your finger off you can't like if you try to bite yourself you, your brain will stop yourself from like breaking skin even if you like push past it, it's like your the initial thing is like stop that <laughs> like what are you doing but if pushed in a crisis your body is like we need to, like this needs to move we'll move it I think I, if I'm not mistaken, I remember hearing about the story of um, a man was like doing some rock climbing or something. Not the 127 hour story. But this man was like doing some rock climbing and, or, and so, or something. And like a big rock fell on him. And he picked, like he moved the rock. The rock was hundreds of pounds heavy. And he moved it. And when he moved it, he like tore like his shoulder. He tore something because it was like so much strength and force that he moved it with. That shouldn't have been possible, but he did. And it just destroyed everything. And it's like. Like that hat, like that adrenaline, that fight, fight or flight kicks in where it's like your adrenaline's going to force you to either fight or you're going to take off. 
So I think Dobby, I think because of that instinct and how it's explained, I think he's a goner. Nearby is capable of some amazing feats, but the backlash is always bad. Yeah. So I'm not I'm not about to um like when a soldier gets shot in a firefight and only notices our so, yeah yeah matter of my weird story my uncle he um he was telling me how like he had some beef with a guy and um yeah he, he had was this he either got shot or he got stabbed. He either got shot or set. I can't remember what it was. But he got into like a scuffle with a guy. And like he got into the scuffle, stuff was happening, things was going crazy. And he um He said he got he got in the car, he took off. And he said he like felt something warm on his hand. And he looked at his hand and it was bloody. He looked down at himself. And he was like, Oh snap. And then everything started hurting. <laughs> It wasn't until like he actually like looked and realized that he was hurt that he actually started feeling pain. Other than that, he was just going. He was just like that was complete. And so yeah, that's that's crazy to get hit, not know you got hit, and then like you stop and you look and then there's blood and it's just like oh oh snap. So. I'm nerd. I don't got. I don't have anything else. I'm gonna just keep babbling about this. I'm the, the, right now. I'm just putting. I'm putting my emotions on pause. That's all I'm doing right now. I'm putting my emotions on pause. Just pause. I need to see how next week goes. If it doesn't finish up next week, I need to see how the week after goes. Because if, like, if we just have them die in front of Shoto, that would be crazy. That would be crazy if we just have them die in front of Shoto. But that would be like, okay. Right? That If that happens, it's going to be like, let's fasten our seatbelts because maybe Hori might do some more crazy stuff for the finale of this series. Maybe. So it's like, I don't know. I'm putting, my, putting everything on pause right now. We'll pick this back up and we'll see. How this goes so i'm gonna call it here thank you guys i appreciate you have a good rest of your sunday have a good rest of your week and hopefully god willing i see you right back here next sunday for 388 and hopefully we have a continuation or a resolution to this right here because we can't forget that hori gave us iron man all might and then just left us. So if we cut, like, I don't mind leaving that. See, this is the whole, I don't mind leaving that if it's going to take us to this. And then if this goes up and a blaze of glory. And you don't take us back to Iron Man All Might. Just don't take us to Toga. Take us to Shigaraki and Deku. And then take us back to Iron Man All Might. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys have a good one and i'll catch you peace out